Inside Nomad, import the image under alphas. This could be done either here or here. If you made a colored layer, we can use stroke painting and import the colored layer here. All that's left now is turning this brush into a continuous pattern. Under the brush settings, change the scaling to 1. The scaling affects the size of the pattern in relation to the radius of the brush, and having a radius of 1 helps line up the pattern without any gaps. Change tiling based on how many times you want this to tile horizontally. Make sure the stroke type is set to dot. At this point, if you try painting, you'll notice that the repeated units are too close together. We need to make the stroke spacing larger. I ended up using around 29%, but it depends on the number of tiles you're using, and also the shape of your tile. So it will require some trial and error. Note that the slider isn't really linear, so 50% is pretty close to the end of the slider. Optionally, turn stroke alpha and stroke falloff off when using stroke painting. Almost done. Currently, the thickness depends on pen pressure. For a constant thickness, under the pen settings, turn off global settings and select the constant preset. And that's it. Now we're done. To save it as a separate brush you can always come back to, click on clone and save it under a new name.